so hello again with my thoughts on the world cup so far it's actually been a week now i think first round of games have been played match day one for most of the teams good today of course um will be the game for group b and the second match day for group a so um it's been a very well i would say up and down for a world cup really um i mean if you look at you know the groups um certain upsets and certain disappointment but overall it's been very interesting no doubt about it this world cup has been a very interesting world cup um look at the standings here group a uh russia have been the first team to be qualified in um, the Egypt uh, after beating Egypt 3-1 yesterday. Their first game, of course, they beat Saudi Arabia 5-0 in the opening game, which I think Russia played really well in the last, in the last two games. And I think, um, well, um, really convincing performance from the Russians, no doubt about it. They're, they're the home team. Playing really well, eight goals in a matter of two games, only conceded one from a penalty from Salah. Definitely a strong side. Today, of course, uh, Uruguay will meet Saudi Arabia just a few hours from now. Um, I think Uruguay will definitely win it, um, just by how much. I don't think it'll be a 5-0, maybe, maybe 2-3, but definitely Uruguay is going to go through. So... Egypt, of course, um, a lot of people really hope Salah can do something about it, but football is all about team play. Um, I think Salah should have played in the first game where they lost 1-0 to Uruguay in, a, in the last minute. It was a very balanced game. The Egyptian side did you know, try to challenge Uruguay for, for the ball and possession. Should have been 0-0, uh, you know, but in the end of the day, it uh, was a last-minute goal. So, nevertheless, um, Egypt, I think they have a very slim chance to go through something a miracle if Saudi Arabia can beat Uruguay, but I don't see that happening, of course. So, I definitely think that at this stage, it's going to be, you know, Russia and Egypt. So, it all depends on the game between Russia and Uruguay, which I really think Uruguay can actually defeat, uh, sorry, Russia can actually defeat Uruguay with how they played against Saudi Arabia and Egypt. I think they really are determined to go all the way in this World Cup. Reminded me about, you know, South Korea 2002, where they went all the way to the semis, despite controversies and scandals. I mean, they, they played really well in that, in that tournament. So who knows, Russia in this World Cup, they are the first time uh, Russia uh, have, you know, advanced to the round of 16 as a Russia team before they were, before that they were the Soviet Union. So congrats to the home team. And of course, I think Uruguay will qualify as well. Now, Group B, of course, Iran with the last-minute goal of Morocco. I think that game was very much cagey. Unlucky for Morocco to concede a goal. Again, of course, Morocco, another African side which everyone thought could actually, you know, have some impact. But in the end of the day, uh, the Iranians uh, had a very lucky goal. It should have been maybe been a draw. And Portugal and Spain, so far... After the first round of groups have been the best game, 3-3, Ronaldo, a hat-trick. It was a really cat and mouse game, of course, Spain scoring, Portugal catching up, and then Portugal, you know, Spain went 3-2, and then Ronaldo's free kick, really a classic game for a group stage, and I think they can actually go very far this time around. I definitely think Portugal really, I think, can go far. I mean, I mean you actually see in this World Cup, I'll actually cover about the favorites, but uh, it's team like it, it's teams that are not really ranked high in the favorite charts are definitely the ones who are going to go far. Just like in the last couple of years, when Italy won 2006, where Spain won 2010, even Germany 2014, they weren't really the best favorites to win it. But you know, this time around, they can actually definitely go through. Um, so of course, now of course, it's still live. Uh, well, Portugal versus Morocco, 1-0. So, Ronaldo in his fourth goal. For now, I'm not sure, not sure what, when this video is uploaded. Not sure what the uh, standing is going to be. But I definitely think Portugal and Spain will go through. I think Spain have no problem beating, beating Iran. And Portugal definitely win against Morocco. Unless there's an upset. But 
I don't think there's an upset going to happen. I think Portugal and Spain definitely will go through. Um, we go to the next group, Group C. France and Australia game. Um, not really the best game. It was a very cagey game. Australia deserve a point. A uh, penalty for them. Uh, Pogba scoring a very, you know, uh, goal. Thank you for the goal line technology. That goal, you know, was uh, very close, but it actually did uh, seem to be going above the line. So it was 2-1. Um, I think, you know, France... I think they should improve the gameplay, but if they continue to play like that, I don't really see them going through that far. Maybe, maybe around a 16. Mm, but yeah, it's not really convincing performance. Denmark and Peru, I didn't really watch the game, but uh, from the highlights, it seems like Denmark were a quite good team. And they played you know, quite well. So I definitely think that France and Denmark have a chance to go through to the next round. Um... I don't think Peru and Australia have the, have the chance, but who knows if Australia can maybe challenge Peru or maybe Denmark. But as for now, I think Denmark is a very strong side. Uh, France looking, you know, they were lucky to have the win. Mm, but, you know, hope they can actually make their game much more convincing. And Group D, oh, definitely one of the upsets. I think a lot of people were hyped about Argentina and Messi. Mm, you know, Ronaldo, of course, at this stage, uh, he actually really shined for Portugal. While Messi, of course, missed a penalty against Iceland. And um, Argentina grew, uh, sorry, drew against uh, Iceland 1-1. Uh, Higuain, sorry, Aguero scored uh, the first goal. And then Iceland equalized. I really think that, you know, um, well, it's... Quite a disappointment, maybe. I mean, you see a lot of uh, South American side not really performing well. Uruguay were, you know, quite struggling. Brazil, will, Drew will get um, on with it later to talk about them. And Argentina, well, also Drew. So, uh, not really a good performance for them. Uh, Nigeria and Croatia game. Croatia, of course, quite a strong side. But, you know, two own goals, really unlucky for the African side. Um, so they are the bottom. So I really think it's all to play for. Argentina could be eliminated. I really think there's a chance they could be eliminated if they continue to play like that. Especially against Croatia or maybe Nigeria. Remember, of course, um, Nigeria won 4-2 against them. They don't, they don't look really that strong. And even Messi this time around don't look... I think he might maybe aged a bit, what, but... Uh, um, they look very convincing uh, in the Iceland game. Should have at least, you know, won, but um, who knows? But I still, you know, fancy Argentina to go through. But I don't think they will actually be the winners of the group. Maybe Croatia and Argentina, but Iceland definitely don't don't ever take them easily. So you know, they're they're going to be there. They're going to really fight for it. So I I'm going to see you know a very major battle. Very interesting to see until match day. Uh, match day two comes around for group uh for the group d now group e of course serbia brazil switzerland costa rica serbia won their game with uh, a 1-0 over costa rica i didn't see the game but you know so serbia has been a, in a very, very good side brazil and switzerland a lot of people have been bashing neymar you know his gameplay was not the best um a lot of diving going on. This is what I heard. I really, I really didn't see the match, but Coutinho scored a, a, a screamer goal. But also Brazil, same what to what happened with the Argentina and Iceland. Brazil also tied to a season after all that hype about you know Brazil, uh, you know are going to win the World Cup. They, you know, they are not the site they were four years ago. But still, I don't see them go. I don't see them winning it. I, I'm. I'm on I mean, every World Cup. You see Brazil as the favourites, but they always turn out not to, uh, you know, be be the champions because you know it doesn't mean that. I mean, that's one thing. What when you're the favourites in every tournament, especially in the World Cup, there's some sort of a curse that you might not go that far. So I think uh, I'm just not sure. I mean, I mean Brazil should stop. I mean, just like how Argentina should stop relying on Messi, Brazil should stop 
uh, relying on Neymar. I think when they play as a team, everyone contributes their own, you know, their own uh, skill level and their own uh, play to score a goal. I think then we will actually see the real Brazilian side. But of course, at this point, I still think that they can go through. But definitely, of course, Serbia and Brazil, definitely strong contenders. And also at this at, at this point, I really think that maybe Brazil are maybe going to end up as runners as runners up, and not the uh, champion of the group. So moving on, this one, oh, a um, lot of people are not expecting it, but this was the game that you know I really fancy and thought Germany were not going to win it. I just had. Something tells, you know, that German was not going to win the game, and it did happen. Sweden, of course, a penalty against South Korea, a very cagey game. They were lucky enough to get the win, but Mexico and Germany, first upset of the World Cup, 1-0. Everybody was praising how Mexico played. Mexico played really well, and the Germans were just stunned. They were just stunned. Mexico had an early goal in the second half, in the first half, I believe. And throughout the second half, it was much more balanced, but they just cannot get, they cannot actually penetrate Mexico. And Mexico, of course, had a lot of chances. It could, could have been maybe 2 0, 3 0, but what a game it was for Mexico. And people are telling that, you know, Germany could really, you know, make a comeback. But as I say, the ex champions curse, the Confederations Cups curse is all there. Um, I know, you know, you know, looking at sports and relating it to curse is maybe something of a no-brainer, but looking at their play, um, you really think that, you know, something is going on and you don't really often see Germany at the bottom of the table. Really weird, really. So I really think that I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not sure if Germany can go through, but I can say that Mexico will become champions of this group. I think high chance they're going to beat next. Uh, they're going to beat Sweden or Korea. I think they can actually beat them. And Germany, I think they might be going out uh, early this time around. I think second place will might go to Sweden. Sweden might just draw, draw or maybe win against Germany. Although people think that maybe Germany will come back. Spain lost their first game in 2010. But you know, my heart does not see Germany going far. So. Well, I think Germany will not, not go through. Maybe even worse, be bottom of the group. So, as it stands, Mexico, first Sweden, second for me. All depends on the Mexico-Sweden game. That will be the uh, determinator on, on the who goes first. Group G. Oh, this was the group that, you know, Belgium played really well against Panama. A new side. Um... Really expected them to win with the quality of they have. Lukaku, De Bruyne, Vertonga, Dembele. Um, they have Martin, has scored a very good goal. Lukaku scoring two. A lot of quality in that Belgian side. So they should win against Panama and they did 3-0. Um, England had a 2-1 last minute goal. Harry Kane again. And some of the stars in this World Cup really shine to the expectations. Lukaku, Harry Kane, Ronaldo, um, most of the England's, uh, sorry, the European stars really shined up this time around. Uh, unlu unlucky for, you know, African stars and for South Americans, just not really the World Cup. I, I don't even, I think maybe we're going to have a European champion, not really from South American side or not African so I don't really I'm, I'm not sure but I, I think it might just be that um, Belgium England Tunisia and Panama England Tunisia game penalty uh, we you know we're going to talk about penalties later on but England Tunisia game was really one of the um, good performance from both sides England had a lot of chances but uh, England winning their first game um, is, is something not normal um, when Germany lose their first game and England wins their first game you can actually see this is when the weird World Cup um, so yes uh, England of course uh, breaking through their spells uh, the last two years uh, winning their opening game it's been a long, long while since England could win against you know uh, mediocre teams 
So the other victory, last minute victory, last minute corner. It should have been, I think it should have been draw, but there were a lot of controversies. Uh, when Harry Kane, you know, he was like strangled in the penalty box. So in the end, of course, it's it's kind of, you know, fair. England had the victory and I think they, I think Belgium and England can go through to the next round. Nope, I think England have no problem. If they can win against Tunisia, they can win against Panama. So Belgium, I think, can defeat Tunisia. So I think it's going to be Belgium-England. Uh, Belgium-England game is going to be really interesting to see how uh, adaptful England are and how they have improved. If, if they can win against Belgium, then, you know, I fancy that Belgium and England can actually also go far. I mean, teams that don't really, uh, you know, are the favourites and don't really go far in, you know, the last few World Cups, England and Belgium. This time around, Belgium with their golden generation in England, of course, improving a lot from their past mistakes under Gareth Southgate. They can actually maybe do some tricks, maybe not win it, but have a respectable, uh, respectable tournament, not in the group stages, but maybe in the quarter or maybe in the semis, who knows? But um, pre pretty much England, I have confidence in them to go through the next round. Group H yesterday, um, a pride for Asia, Japan, the first Asia team, to win against the South American side in the World Cup. So that's a record there for Japan against Colombia. Ten men Colombia, of course, uh, with the free kicks and penalties. Um, so really, it's been a, um, a World Cup full of penalties with the VAR and, of course, a lot of goals from set pieces, from corners, from free kicks. Um, also, same goes to Senegal and Poland. Poland, of course, played, you know, 2-1 defeat, but they played, you know, quite poorly. And I think Senegal, I think after all the African teams that we thought about, you know, Egypt, Morocco, uh, T Tunisia, that we thought maybe could deliver, Senegal is uh, amongst the team that deliver. And of course, they did deliver. In 2002, they went all the way to the quarterfinals, I believe, or second round. I think second round. And uh, I think, you know, this time around... Uh, win against Poland. So this is one of the one of the two sides, Japan and Senegal. We not. I thought that Colombia and Poland might actually go through the next round, but it seems now that Japan and Senegal it's leading. Um, I can't predict who will go through, but I think for Senegal have a good chance. Japan. It will be nice Japan to go to the next round as well. The last time they did that was back in two thousand two World Cup. So. I don't know, it's all to play for, but Senegal have a high chance of becoming the champions of the group. So with that, um, talking about the World Cup in a whole, I think it's been a very much an entertaining World Cup. Um, home side playing well, uh, a lot of mediocre teams that you don't really see, or, you know, winning games, especially in, in World Cup, especially, you know, teams like England, uh, Belgium and of course you know, Portugal teams that uh, you know might uh, in in any other World Cup might not be the favourites are playing quite well and then you know Germany being defeated Brazil Argentina failing to win um, I think uh, a lot of you know mediocre European side are doing very well in this tournament and um, I think I really hope that in this World Cup we can have a new winner so not the winner that have won before. So maybe if Belgium can win it or maybe Russia can win it. Um, it'll be really interesting to see someone new you know, joining the Champions Club. Um, because, you know, I don't really see Germany winning it, Brazil, no Argentina. Uh, so Italy is not in it. So really, that's a really chance if we can have a new champions. Now talking about goals, uh, VAR, a lot of penalties been given away in this World Cup. Definitely in the first round, we have been like at least in every, in, in, in every match, uh, skip two, three match with, uh, have penalties. This actually shows you that how many falls in the past were not given penalty. I think it, it is actually good for the game, but in a way, uh, I think if there are too many penalties, people will be starting to get bored and teams might use VAR to to just get a penalty and you know the flair of football might not be might not be really well adapted so in that sense VAR might destroy might destroy if referees are too lenient so you, as i think as usual you have to have make sure that the tackle is really really severe and really obvious that you have to give it a penalty 
Um, but of course, the VAR is that for, for the, the referee, if he missed out from his angle, he can actually always rewind it. But not uh, just as a die if you get a penalty and, you know, someone just touch you, you get a penalty. I think that will kill the whole nature of football, really. And of course, goals from free kick and set pieces. Um, I think a lot of teams are really improved on that. Uh, really make sure that every set pieces that they get, they actually can actually score from it. So an improvement in set pieces and free kicks, uh, it's really, really superb in this World Cup. We can see a lot of uh, increase in that capability of teams. And so far, of course, first round is being, is, you know, going to be really uh, interesting. So my next thoughts on the World Cup will actually be uh, when all the group matches are finished or nearly finished. And we can actually see which team will actually meet another team in the uh, round of 16 and actually do some predictions on that. And of course, certain games will be uploaded. So that's my thought on the World Cup. And uh, see you next time.